Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to share folders and files between a Windows host and your Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we wanna do is to allow network sharing uh, on your Windows device. To do this, we'll go to the control panel and then network and sharing center, then advanced sharing settings, and make sure that turn on network discovery is selected and that you turn on file and printer sharing. Then save your changes. So on your Windows host machine, I'll first start by creating the folder that I want to share. I'm going to name mine test underscore shared and also create a test.txt file. Then on the folder itself, right click and select properties. Then under the sharing tab, we'll select share. Then make note of your user account because we'll need it later. Currently I'm logged in through my live account uh, via email. Click on share and the shared path will be listed here. Next, we'll need to determine the IP address of your host machine. To do this, go to the command prompt and type in ipconfig. And under IPv4, make note of your IP address as we'll need it for later. On the Raspberry Pi, I'll first create a folder that I want to amount to. I'll do this on my desktop and I'll call my folder windows underscore shared. So in order to get this to work, we'll need to install cutils. And to do that, we'll type in sudo apt-get install sifts utils. And once we have that installed, we can begin to mount the folder. To do that, the command is sudo mount.sifts-o username is equal to your Windows uh, login. In this case, it will be my email address from earlier the path to the shared folder, which is the IP address and then the path of your folder. And then your Linux uh, mount directory. In my case, it will be desktop slash windows underscore shared. Once you hit enter, you'll be prompted for your password. So I'll enter in my windows password and the folder is now mounted. It's important to note that you'll need admin privileges to write to shared folders. For example, if I try to create a new file, I'll get this error. So if you're editing in the command line, you'll need the sudo command. And if you're editing via a GUI, I recommend opening the file explorer as root. The command will be different depending on your Linux distribution. For me, I'm running the Raspberry Pi image by Ubiquity robotics and the command to do that is sudo pcmanfm. Once in root you can edit and create files. So another important thing to keep in mind is that you'll need to mount the drive after each startup. To make this easier you could add a alias to your bash rc file. To do this open your explorer as root then navigate to your users home folder and Use Control H to show hidden items and edit the bash rc file. Then create an alias. I'll call mine mt and then just paste in the entire command from earlier surrounded by quotes. Then save the file. Okay, so I just restarted my Raspberry Pi. You can see right now that my Windows shared folder is empty. To remount the folder, all I have to do is open up my terminal and type in the alias mt. Then I'll enter in my password like before and it'll automatically mount. 